lately I've been getting the same question a lot, which is what type of tub is best for a taller person? And by a lot, I actually mean three times, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened thrice, right? Welcome back, Remodelites, to another episode of Quick Tip Tuesday, where I dive into your questions, comments, and concerns. I'm Dave with Remodel Media, and for the last 17 years, I've been helping people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. I'm on a mission to eliminate regret, and I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing, and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode. For purposes of this discussion, we will be focusing mostly on the most typical tub installation, which is a 60-inch three-wall alcove tub shower, something like this. However, the tips and the recommendations that we make here can be applied to a lot of other tubs that are out there. So pay attention, take some notes. One thing to keep in mind is most 60-inch alcove tubs are typically either 30 or 32 inches wide. And in most installations, either tub can be used. However, as always, Measure twice, cut once. As you've heard me say in the past, every product is right for somebody and tubs are no exception. First, consider the intended user, as different people can be tall in different ways. Some have a longer torso, while others have longer legs. A good measurement to keep in mind is the distance from their hip to the bottom of their foot. For most of my taller customers in the past, this measurement has ranged from 40 to 44 inches, and this measurement can directly translate to the measurement of the floor of the tub. Let's start with what may be the most common tub in the United States, the Kohler Villager, the K715 and 716 models. This tub is so common that I'm willing to bet that nine out of every 10 people watching this has either bathed or showered in one at some point in their lives, especially if you've ever lived in an apartment or stayed in a hotel or motel. The Kohler Villager is very popular with multi-unit projects. At 60 inches long, 30 inches wide, and 14 inches high, it is quite literally the bare minimum of what a tub needs to be. A quick look at the specs of, for this tub tell us that the tub has a 33 gallon capacity and the floor is 45 by 22, a little narrow but definitely long enough for most bathers, even those over six feet. There's just one problem, the depth. The usable water depth is less than nine inches, which in this case is just not enough to get the job done. Plus, this tub is made of porcelain enameled cast iron which means it could scratch or chip and be difficult to repair. However, one of the reasons this tub is so popular, quite honestly, is the cost. When you can pick one up for around $400, that's a pretty good deal for the money. At the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the Perfect Tub by Kalista, which is a Kohler company. Kalista, for those that are unaware, is Kohler's division of high-end product, where they partner with various designer names to create product. Names like Barbara Berry, Laura Carrar, Mick DiGiulio, to name a few. Looking at the spec sheet, we can see that it is also almost 46 inches long and 25 inches wide with a 75 gallon capacity and a 16.75 inch water depth. This is a great tub. Top that off with a lumbar support and any bather is pretty much guaranteed to relax. In 17 years, I've only seen three reasons why a customer might not choose this particular tub. One, this is a drop-in tub which means it does not have a built-in tile flange. The tile flange is the lip along the edge of an alcove tub. The tub walls get installed over this lip and that is what creates the water barrier. After all, water, like other things, only flows downhill. The lack of a tile flange is not necessarily a deal breaker because a tile flange kit or Kohler tiling bead can be purchased as an add-on, but it is extra labor and cost to be aware of if you intend to use a typical three wall installation. This tub does not have an apron, which means that you or your installer will have to create a custom apron on the front of the tub. Again, this may not be a deal breaker as long as you're aware of the added costs going into it. And the third reason is the cost of the tub. This tub, as of April 1st, 2022, has a list price of $2,145, which means you're most likely to buy this at an authorized dealer for $1,608.75. A lower budget Kohler bathtub that has some decent specs is the Kohler Archer bathtub. 
One of the interesting things about Kohler is that they offer suites and ensembles of product. Suites are for collections and ensembles are for partial collections, where the products are all designed to match and coordinate and make it very easy to complete a bathroom design. Take the Archer Suite, for example. This sleek, angular, modern lined collection has a very neat tub with a cool linear overflow providing a 58 gallon capacity and a 15 inch water depth with a base that's 45 and an eighth by 19 and 11 sixteenths. The only catch is with this tub, you have to use the Kohler drain because of the shape of the overflow. Meaning this tub, which is already $868.50 on Amazon, requires a drain that at a minimum adds $128 to the price. So take this into account when setting your budget. Let's say you still find this outside your budget, but you want to still shop American made and you want something that is more easily repairable than a porcelain enameled cast iron. Let me introduce you to Clark products out of Texas. They are the largest small business you've never heard of. Clark products makes acrylic and solid surface tubs, not only to sell to the public, but they also do private label, which means they make the tubs that other companies slap a label on and resell. Looking at the spec sheet, we can see that this tub is 16 and a half inches to the overflow, deep enough to reach my chest, and has 45 and a half by 20 and a half at the base. And right now it's going for $789.99 on Wayfair and will work with a basic $25 tub drain from the hardware store. I could sit here all day and list out every tub under the sun, but hopefully these basic selections give you some ideas and hopefully I've taught you what questions you need to ask and how to make a good decision in order to avoid regret in your remodel. As always, if you need further explanation or have a question that pertains to your project, feel free to leave it in the comments below or reach out to me across all social media at Remodel Media. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe and make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today and leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.